eight more constituencies to go, and the ECZ Corporate Affairs Manager, Patricia Lohanga, is uh, on the floor and making introductory remarks before she introduces the count. At this point, let me quickly hand over to the CEO for us to begin the process. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I will be calling upon the Commission Chairperson, but before I do that, allow me just to indicate the timelines and remind all of us what we had scheduled for ourselves that we'll be able to announce the last results within the 72-hour window, which falls this morning at 5 a.m. And as a Commission, we are pleased that we are within that timeline. And just to mention that this is also one of the best timelines on the continent and indeed on the region. So we are pleased with that. With that said, allow me to call upon the Commission Chairperson. Thank you, Jeff. Well, thanks very much, you know, uh, Mr. Shindano. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good morning, sorry. <laughs> That's what mental exhaustion can do. Good morning. Yes, we bring you the final set of results as announced by the CEO. And I will start with announcement of results obtained from Chipata Central constituents in the Chipata district of the Eastern Province of Zambia. Kasonde Mwenda, EFF 6, Temboshon, PEP 8, Silumbe Richard LM 18, Tonga Enoch Ara, 3rd LM 20, Gisela Lazarus, ZUSD 46. Mwamba Msonda TS, UNIP, 50. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 55. Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 56. Hamdudu Haivi, PNUP, 67. Nirenda Steven Narep, 73. Kateka Chishala, NHP, 92. Member Fred SP 101, Kalaba Harry DP 187, Banda Anford M Park 278 278, Hichlema Hakainde UPND 24,017, 24,017. Lungu Ediga PF, 24,285, 24,25. Registered voters, 82,550, 82,550. Valid vote cast, 49,359. 49,359. Rejected votes, 907. Total votes cast, 50,266. 50,266. Presenting a percentage turnout of 60.89%. 60.89. Turn to the next constituency, which is in Chelenge in the Chilenge district of Luapula province. Nirenda Steven Narep 6, 9, sorry. Nirenda Steven Narep 9, Slumbe Richard LM 10, Mwenda Gasonde EFF 18, Tembo Sean Pep 22, Mwamba Msonda TS Unip 26. 
Mumba Nevers, MMD 27, Tonga Enoch Ara, 3rd LM 54, Chanda Charles, UPPZ 62, Gisela Lazarus, ZUSD 73, Amdudu Haivi, PNUP 83, Kateka Chishala, NHP 120, Member Fred, SP 125, Banda Antford M, PAC 211, Kalava Harry, DP 232, Hichle Mahaka in the UPND 15,152, 15,152,152. Lungu Ediga PF 26,274, 26,26,274. Registered voters 71,866, 71,866. Valid divorce cast for the 2,498, 42,498. Rejected divorce, 1,274, 1,274. Total divorce cast for the 3,772, 43,772, presenting a percentage turnout of 60.91. Turn to the next one. This is Muchinga constituency of Serenja district in the central province of Zambia. Sidumbe Richard, LM3. Nirenda Stephen Narep, 5. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 8. Tembo Sean, PEP, 11. Mwamba Msonda, TS, UNIP, 18. Tonga Enoch, Ara, 3rd LM, 23, Mumba Nevers, MMD, 28, Hamdu Duhaivi, PNUP, 30, Katega Chishala, NHP, 32, Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD, 36, Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 43, Kalava Hari, DP, 71, Member Fred, SP 77, Banda Antford M, Park 178, Hishle Mahaka in the UPND 5,823, 5,823, Lungu Ediga PF 6,357, 6,357. Registered voters, 20,272, 20,272. Valid divorce cast, 12,743, 12,743. Rejected divorce, 717. Total divorce cast, 13,460, 13,460. Percentage turnout, 66.40. The next is Liwa constituency of Kalabo district in Western Province. Silume Richard LM, zero. Nirenda Steven Narep, zero. Mumba Nevers MMD, two. Tembo Sean, PEP, two. Mwamba Msonde TS, UNIP, two. Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD, 3. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 5. Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 5. Kateka Chishala, NHP, 8. Tonga Enoch Ara, 3rd LM, 9. Banda Antford M, PAC, 1919. Kalava Hari, DP, 39, 39. Hamdu Duhaivi, PNUP, 
4848, member Fred SP 9898, Lungu Ediga PF 1856, 1,856. Hishlema Haka in the UPND, 10,082, 10,082. Registered voters at this constituency 14,595, 14,595. And valid divorce cast 12,178, 12,178. Rejected divorce 298. Total divorce cast 12,476, 12,476. Presenting a turnout percentage of 85.48. Uh, turn to Nkana constituents now of Kitwe District on the Copper Belt. The results are as follows. Tembo Sean, Pep, three. Tonga Enoch, R, third LM, five. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, seven. Mwamba Msonda, TS, UNIP, seven. Nirenda Steven, Narep, nine. Silumbe Richard, LM, 10. Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD, 13. Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 18. Hamdu Duhaivi, PNUP, 23. Banda Antford, M, Park, 25. Kateka Chishala, NHP, 44. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 75. Member Fred, SP, 97. Kalabahari DP160. Lungu Ediga, PF, 15,321. 15,321. Hichle Mahaka in the UPND, 22,912. 22,912. Registered voters in this constituency, 53,157. 53,157. Valid divorce cast, 38,729. 38,729. Rejected divorce, 494. Total divorce cast, 39,223. 39,223. Presenting a percentage turnout of 73.79. 73.79. I will now call upon is the vice chairperson to announce results for the next two constituencies. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. The results for Mukushi South, District Ruano, Province Central. Nirenda Stephen Narep, 2. Silumbe Richard L.M., 4. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 4. Tembo, Sean, Pape, 8. Mwamba Kasonde, TS, UNIP, 12. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 12, 1, 2. Tonga Inuk, R, Third Liberation Movement, 15. One five. She said, Lazarus Z Z U S D fifteen one five. Member Fred S P twenty three. 
23. Chanda Charles UPPAZ 27 27. Hamdudu Haivi NHP 27 27. Kalabahari DP Thirty-four, three, four. Banda Andiford Park, seventy-two, seventy-two. Hika in the Hichilema UPND, seven thousand four hundred and seventy-eight, seven comma four seven eight. Lungu Edgar PF, seven thousand five hundred and sixty-nine. 7,569. Registered voters in this constituency, 22,814. Valid votes cast, 15,332. Rejected votes, 820. Total votes cast, 16,000. 152. Percentage turnout, 70.80. The results for Sikongo constituency, Sikongo district, Western province. Mwenda Kasonde EFF, 3. Silumbe Richard LM, 4. Nirenda Stephen Narep, 4. Tonga Enoch, Third Liberation Movement, 6. Tembo Sean Pep, 6. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 6. Chanda Charles UPPZ 7. Mwamba Msonda TS UNIP 7. Chisela Lazarus ZUSD 1616. Banda Andiford Park 3333. 3. Hamdudu Haivi PNUP 440. Member Fred, Socialist Party, 50, five, zero. Hari Karawa, DP, 51, five, one. Kateka Chishala, NHP, 144, one, four, four. Lungu Edgar, PF, 4,965. 4,965. Hichilema Hikainde, UPND, 9,075. 9,75. Registered voters in this constituency, 8,973. Valid votes cast, 14,417. Rejected votes, 415. Total votes cast, 14,832. Percentage turnout, 78.17. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Vice Chair. Uh, Commissioner Simonga, will you proceed, please, with the next set? Thank you, Chair Person. These are the results from Buanamkubwa constituency. Ndola District, Copper Belt Province. Tembo Sean, PEP, 3. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 4. Nirenda Steven, Narep, 6. Tonga Enoch, 3rd LM, 9. Sulumbe Richard, LOM, 11. Mwamba Musonda, UNIP, 13. 
Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD 14. Hamdudu Haivi, PNUP 33. Mumbanevas, MMD 50. Mumbe Fred, SP 56. Kateka Chishala, NHP 56. Banda Anford, Park 58. Chanda Charles, UPPZ 59. Kalavahari, DP 107, 107. Lungu Edgar, PF 18,536. 18,536. Hichilema Hakainde, UPND, 18,980. 18,980. The total number of registered voters for Banam Kuba constituents is 53,610. The valid votes cast, 37,995. Rejected votes, 637. Total votes cast, 38,632. Percentage voter turnout, 72.06%. I now wish to announce the result for Milan's constituency in Katete District, Eastern Province. Steven, Nirenda Steven, Narep, 19. Sulumbe Richard, LM, 21. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 37. Mwamba Musonda, UNIP, 60. Tembo Sean, PEP, 61. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 63. Tonga Enoch, Third LM, 103, Hamdu Duhaizi, PNUP, 110, Membe Fred, SP, 125, Kalavahari, DP, 137, Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD, 157, Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 158, Kateka Chishala, NHP, 165, Banda Anford, Park, 518, Hichilema Hakainde, UPND, 8,888, Lungu Edgar, PF, 10,929, and the total number of registered voters stands at 33,535. 33,535. Valid votes cast 21,551. Rejected votes 956. Total votes cast 22,507, representing a percentage turnout of 67.11%. The next constituency is the Luena constituency, Limulunga District, Western Province. And the results are as follows. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF2. Mwambam Sonda, UNIP3. Silumbe Richard, LM3. Kateka Chishala, NHP4. Tembo Sean, PEP4. Nirenda Steven, Narep 5, Mumba Nevers, MMD 6, Tonga Enoch, Third LOM 8, Chanda Charles, UPPZ 12, Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD 15, Banda Anford, Park 42, Kalavahari, DP, 43, Hamdudu Haizi, PNUP 46, Membe Fred, SP 91, 
Lungu Edgar, PF 1867, 1,867. Hichilema Hakainde, UPND, 15,653. 15,015,653. The total number of registered voters for Luena constituents stands at 22,278. Valid votes cast. 17,804, rejected votes, 300, total votes cast, 18,104, The next constituency is Ron Constituency in Luansha District, Copper Belt Province. And the results are as follows Tembo Sean, PIP, 3. Nirenda Stephen, Narep, 3. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 4. Silumbe Richard, LM, 5. Tonga Enoch, 3rd LM, 7. Mwambam Sonda, UNIP, 11. Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD, 13. Hamdudu Haivi, PNUP, 27. Kateka Chala, NHP 32, Mumba Nevers, MMD 32, Chanda Charles, UPPZ 32, Banda Anford Park 44, Membe Fred, SP 63, Kalavahari, DP 75, Lungu Edgar, PF. 8,560, 8,560. Hichilema Hakainde, UPND, 15,106, 15,106. The total number of registered voters for own constituency stands at 31,801. The valid votes cast 24,017. Rejected votes, 242. Total votes cast, 24,259, representing a percentage voter turnout of 76.28%. The next constituency is Calavo Central Constituency Kalabo District, Western Province. Tembo Sean, 1. Silumbe Richard, LM, 1. Nirenda Steven Narep, 3. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 3. Mwambam Sonda, UNIP, 6. Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD, 11. Mumba Nevers MM, MMD 14. Kateka Chishala NHP 14. Tonga Enoch 3rd LM 17. Chanda Charles UPPZ 36. Hamdudu Haivi PNUP 55. Banda Anford Park 61. Member Fred, SP 114. Kalavahari, DP 135. Lungu Edgar, PF 3117. 3,117. Hichilema Hakainde, UPND 16,040. 16, 
0.0040. The total number of registered voters for Calabo Central constituency is 26,255. Valid vote, votes cast were 19,628. Rejected votes, 510. Total votes cast, 20,138. Percentage voter turnout, 76.70%. Now we turn to Mfue constituency of Lavushimanda district in Muchinga province. And the results are as follows. Silumbe Richard LOM, three. Nirenda Stephen Narep, five. Mwenda Kasonde EFF, five. Mwambam Sonda, UNIP, 8. Tonga Enoch, 10. Tembo Shon, PEP, 10. Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 17. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 20. Hamdudu Haivi, PNUP, 21. Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD, 27. Kateka Chishala, NHP 41. Banda Anford Park, 79. Membe Fred, SP 83. Kalavahari, DP 91. Hichilema Hakainde, UPND, 2,669. 2, 666. Nine. Lungu Edgar, PF, 8,953, 8,953. And the total number of registered voters for Mfuwe constituency is 20,882. Valid votes cast, 12,042, 12,042. Rejected votes, 430. Total votes cast, 12,472. Percentage turnout, 59.73%. Kantanshi constituency, Mufulila district, Copper Belt province. Mwenda Kasunde, EFF. Two, Tembo Shon, Pep. Three, Nirenda Steven, Narep. Four, Chanda Charles, UPPZ. Seven, Silumbe Richard, LOM. Seven, Mwamba Musonda, UNIP. Ten, Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD. Eleven, Tonga Enoch. Third LOM, 12. Hamdudu Haivi, PNUP, 14. Membe Fred, SP, 30. Chishala, Kateka Chishala, NHP, 32. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 38. Banda Anford, Park, 39. Kalavahari, DP, 135. Lungu Edgar, PF, 9,717. Hichilema Hakainde, UPND, 12,364. 12,364. The total number of registered voters for Kantanshi constituents is 30,000. 551, valid votes cast, 22,425, rejected votes, 262, total votes cast, 22,687, giving us a percentage turnout of 74.26%. I beg to submit, Chairperson. Thanks very much, Commissioner Sminga. The General will read the next set. Thank you.
Thank you, Chair. Mongo Central constituency, Mongo District in the Western Province. Temboshion Pep 1. Mwenda Kasonde EFF 3. Silumbe Richard LM 3. Tonga Enoch R. Fed LM 11. One, one. Kateka Chishala NHP 11. One, one. Mwamba Musonda TS Unip. 1313 Chisela Lazarus ZUSD 1717 Mumba Nevas MMD 2424 Chanda Charles UPPZ 2525 Nyerenda Stephen Narep 3030 Banda Andford M Park 68. Kalava Hari DP 70. 70. Hamdudu Haivi PNUP 122. 122. Membe Fred SP 136. 136. Lungu Edgar PF 2000. 895 2,895 Ichile Mahakainde UPND 35,089 35,089 Registered voters in the Mongo Central constituency 51,870 51,870. Valid uh, votes cast, 38,518. 38,518. Rejected votes, 487. 487. Total votes cast, 39,005. 39. Comma zero zero five and the percentage turnout seventy five point two zero percent. Next is Shango Mokos Chuesi, Shangobo District in the Western Province. Mwenda Kasonde EFF seven. Mwamba Musonda TS Unip 8. Silumbe Richard LM 8. Nirenda Stephen L. Narep 10. I'll read that again. Nirenda Stephen Narep 10. 1 0. Tembo Sean Pep 13. 1 3. Chanda Charles, UPPZ 14. Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD 15. Mumba Nevas, MMD 17. Tonga Enoch R, Fed LM 32. Kateka Tishala, NHP 36. Hamdudu Haivi, PNUP 50. Five zero. Banda Andford M Park sixty seven. Kalabahari DP sixty nine. Member Fred SP one hundred and seventy four. One seven four. Lungu Edgar PF four thousand six hundred and seventy one. Four comma six seven one. Ichile Mahakainde UPND 11,874. 11,874. Registered voters 26,578. 
26,578. Valid votes cast 17,065. 17,065. Rejected votes 817. 817. Total votes cast 17,882. 17,882. And uh, the percentage turnout, 67.28%. And now come to Chilanga Constituency, District Chilanga in the Lusaka province. Mwenda Kasonde EFF. Five, Tembo Sean Pep five, Chisela Lazarus ZUSD six, Tonga Enoch R third LM eight, Silumbe Richard LM nine, Nirenda Stephen Narep ten, Mwamba Musonda TS Unip thirteen one three. Chanda Charles, UPPZ 1919. Mumba Nevers, MMD 42. Kateka Chishala, NHP 42. Banda Andford, M. Park 64. Hamdudu Ivy, PNUP 77. Member Fred, SP 8080. Kalaba Hari DP 138-138. Lungu Edgar PF 14,791. 14,791. Hichilema Hakainde UPND 30,873. 30,873. And the registered voters in the Chilanga constituency stands at 72,409, Valid votes cast, 46,182, 46,182. Rejected votes, 1,190. 1,190. Total votes cast 47,372. 47,372. Percentage turnout 65.42%. Next is Mitete constituency. Mitete district in the western province. Mwamba Musonda TS Unip 1. Tembo Sean Pep 1. Mwenda Kasonde EFF 1. Nyerenda Stephen Narep 2. Silumbe Richard LM 3. Mumba Nevers MMD 3. Chanda Charles UPPZ 9, Chisela Lazarus ZUSD 10, Kateka Chishala NHP 10, Tonga Enoch R, 3rd LM 13, 1, 3. Kalabahari DP 15, Hamdudu Ivy PNUP 38, 38, Banda Andiford M, Park 55. Five five, member Fred SP seventy three, Lungu Edgar PF two thousand one hundred and eighty one, two comma one eight one, Hichilema Hakainde UPND eight thousand seven hundred, eight comma seven zero zero. Registered voters in Mitete. 
stands at 14,130, 14,130. Valid votes cast, 11,115, 11,115. Rejected votes, 342, 342. Total votes cast, 11,457, 11,457, and the percentage turnout was 81.08%. Next is Kabwe Central Constituency, Kabwe District, in the central province. Tembo Shion, PEP, 3. Silumbe Richard, LM, 6. Tonga Enoch, R, 3rd LM, 8. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 11. Mwamba Musonda, TS, UNIP, 14. Chisela Lazarus, ZUSD, 17. Chanda Charles UPPZ 19 Nirenda Steven Narep 37 37 Kateka Chishala NHP 47 47 Banda Andford M Park 54 54 Mumba Nevers MMD 61 Hamdu Duhaivi PNUP 65 member fred sp 91 91 kalabahari dp 162 162 lungu edgar pf 20924 hichilema akainde upnd 23000 463 registered voters Kabwe Central 66497 66,497 valid votes cast 44982 44982 Rejected votes 741, 741, and total votes cast 45,723, 45,723, giving us a percentage turnout of 68.76%. We move on to Mangango constituency, uh, Kaoma district in the western province. Nirenda Stephen Narep, zero. Tembo Sean Pep, three. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, five. Silumbe Richard LM, five. Mwamba Musonda TS, UNIP, six. Mumba Nevers MMD 8 Tonga Enoch R 3rd LM 9 Kateka Chishala NHP 11 Chisela Lazarus ZUSD 16 Chanda Charles UPPZ 31 31 Kalaba Hari DP 45 Banda Andford M Park 51 51 Hamududu Ivy PNUP 52 52 Member Fred SP 64 Lungu Edgar PF 1969 1,969 Hichilema Akainde UPND 
987. And the registered voters in Mangango, 16,992, 16,992. Valid votes cast, 12,262, 12,262. Rejected votes, 402, 402. And the total votes cast, 12,664. 12,664. Percentage turnout at 74.53%. Kaflafuta constituency, uh, Masaiti district on the Copper Belt. Tembo Shon, PEP, 2. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 4. Silumbe Richard, LM, 6. Nirenda Steven Narep, 9. Mwamba Musonda, TS, UNIP, 13, 1, 3. Kateka Chishala, NHP, 14. Mumba Nevers MMD 15. Tonga Enoch R, 3rd LM 16. Chisela Lazarus ZUSD 22. Chanda Charles UPPZ 29. Hamududu Haivi PNUP 33. Member Fred SP 36. Kalaba Hari DP 63. Banda Andford M. Park 84. Lungu Edgar PF 4,957. 4,957. Kichile Mahaka Inde UPND 9,589. 9, 589. Registered voters in Kaflafuta, 21,459. 21,459. Valid votes cast, 14,892. 14,892. Rejected votes. 492, 492. Total votes cast, 15,384. At a percentage turnout of 71.69%. Thank you, Chair. Thanks very much, you know, Commissioner Mkanda. Uh, Akwapone, Commissioner Mtiti, to read out the last set of results. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. I begin with Kawata constituency, Lusaka district, Lusaka province. Tonga Enoch, third LM, three. Silumbe Richard, LM, four. Chisela Lazarus, SUSD, six. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, seven. Tembo Sean, Pep, Seven. Nirenda Steven, Narep, 17. Mwamba Musonda, Unip, 19. Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 22. Hamdudu Haivi, PNUP, 44. Banda Andy Ford, Park, Park, 60. Kateka Chishala, NHP, 70. Membe Fred, SP, 174. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 176. Kalavahari, DP, 296. Lungu Edgar, PF, 29,095. 29,095. 
Hichile Mahaka Inde, UPND 45,363, 45,363. Registered voters, 108,729. Valid votes cast, 75,363. Rejected votes, 622. Total votes cast, 75,985 representing a percentage turnout of 69.88%. And I'll move on to Chimwemwe constituency, Kitwe district, Copper Belt province. Tembo Sean, PEP, three. Tonga Enoch, third LM, seven. Silumbe Richard, LM, seven. Chisela Lazarus, SUSD, 10. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF 12. Nyerenda Steven, Narep 17. Mwamba Musonda, UNIP 21. Chanda Charles, UPPZ 24. Mumba Nevis, MMD 35. Kateka Chishala, NHP 44. Membe Fred, SP 93. Banda Andy Ford, Park 120. Kalabahari, DP 241. Hamdudu Haivi, PNUP 363. Lungu Edgar, PF 16,866. 16,866. Hichile Mahaka Inde, UPND. 23,570, 23,570. Registered voters, 60,323. Valid votes cast, 41,433. Rejected votes, 717. Total votes cast, 42,150. Representing a percentage voter turnout of 69.87%. The, the next one is Chifuvu constituency, Ndola district, Copper Belt province. Tembo Sean Pep 4. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF 4. Silumbe Richard, LM 4. Tonga Enoch, Third LM five, Chisela Lazarus SUSD seven, Nirenda Steven Narep nine, Chandra Charles UPPZ eighteen, Mwamba Musonda UNIP twenty, Banda Andy Ford Park thirty five, Hamdudu Haivi PNUP forty three, Kateka Chishala NHP. 48. Mumba Nevis, MMD 49. Membe Fred, SP 64. Kalavahari, DP 127. Lungu Edgar, PF 17,253. 17,253. Hichire Mahara Inde, UPND. 19,932, 19,932. Registered voters, 50,639. Valid votes cast, 37,622. Rejected votes, 582. Total votes cast, 38,204. Percentage voter turnout, 75.44%. Uh, now move on to, to Chifunambuli constituency, Chifunambuli district, Luapula province. Nyerenda Stephen, Narep, 15. Silumbe Richard, LM, 16. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 19. Chisela Lazarus, SUSD 
26. Mwamba Musonda, Unip, 27. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 32. Tembo Sean, Pep, 35. Hamdudu Haivi, EP, PNUP, 41. Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 43. Tonga Enoch, 3rd LM, 50. Kateka Chishala, NHP, 117. Membe Fred, SP, 139. Banda Andiford, Park, 199. Kalabahari, DP, 2,245. 2,245. Hichile Mahaka Inde, UPND, 5,815. 5,815. Lungu Edgar, PF, 20,087. 20,087. Registered voters, 41,504. Valid votes cast, 28,906. Rejected votes, 1,160. Total votes cast, 30,065. Representing a percentage voter turnout of 72.44%. Munali constituency, Lusaka district, Lusaka province. Silumbe Richard, LM, 9. Tembo Sean, Pep, 14. Chisela Lazarus, SUSD, 15. Tonga Enoch, 3rd LM, 15. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF, 16. Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 23. Nirenda Steven, Narep, 33. Mwamba Musonda, Unip, 34. Hamududu Haivi, PNUP, 112. Kateka Chishala, NHP, 115. Banda Andiford, PAC, 146. Membe Fred, SP, 100. And 71. Mumba Nevers, MMD, 266. Kalabahari, DP, 298. Lungu Edgar, PF, 47,039. 47,039. Hichile Mahaka Inde, UPND, 54,002. 54. Comma, zero, zero, two. Registered voters, 151,573. Valid votes cast, 102,308. Rejected votes, 1,369. Total votes cast, 103,677. Representing a percentage voter turnout of 68.40%. The last one, Mr. Chairman, is Ndola Central Constituency, Ndola District, Copper Belt Province. Tembo Shan, PEP 2. Tonga Enoch, 3rd LM 4. Silumbe Richard, LM 6. Mwenda Kasonde, EFF 10. Nuranda Steven, Narep 13. Chanda Charles, UPPZ 16. Mwamba Musonda, UNIP 19. Gisela Lazarus, SUSD 24. Hamdudu Haivi, PNUP 45. Banda Andiford, Park 47. Mumba Nevers, MMD 54. Kateka Chishala, NHP 57. Membe Fred, SP 72. Kalabahari, DP 162. Lungu Edgar, PF 18,486. 
23,486. UPND, 23,414. 23,414. Registered voters, 60, 62,018. Valid votes cast, 42,431. Rejected votes, 902. Total votes cast, 43,333. Making a percentage voter turnout of 69.87%. Mr. Chairman, I thank you. Thanks very much, <coughs> Commissioner Mtiti. So now, we have come to almost the end, and the Commission will retreat for about 10 minutes why don't you give me the ear to listen for about 10 minutes for consolidation and come back to announce listen please when we come back then there will be a declaration that will be made Thank you. Well, that is uh, the final count of uh, the 2021 uh, elections and um, as uh, you have heard the electoral commission of zambia has finished uh, uh, the count for the uh, presidential uh, election and what is uh, just remaining um, is uh, the declaration um, and it's uh, what uh, the uh, the general uh, you know people in here generally, uh, observers, local, international, everybody, including you, uh, all those of you that are watching at home, um, were not expecting that there would be further uh, wait uh, before the declaration uh, is uh, made. And it's uh, been a very interesting uh, way to look at it because of the uh, way the uh, opposition political party leader uh, Haka Inde Hichlema has performed uh, against uh, uh, the incumbent uh, Edgar Chagwalungu of uh, the PF. Now, clearly, it um, is about the declaration. Of course, the numbers are being crunched, and um, you can tell where it is uh, skewing. There's already uh, a little bit of uh, um, uh, excitement that uh, you can hear, but um, there is also that effort to keep it harsh because there is no declaration that has been made yet so that is what um, is uh, being awaited it's all about a proper procedure the electoral commission of zambia saying they have to consolidate it's a catchphrase which um, um, it has uh, characterized uh, this whole process uh, of the count of uh, the uh, elections so what will the declaration uh, be um, whose name will be announced or pronounced as the winner of the 2021 uh, presidential election. And that is what is keeping everybody uh, on the edge. What a race uh, this one has been. Now remember that for one to be declared president, they have to beat the 50 plus one threshold. The 50 plus one threshold. And that is uh, what, it, uh, what determines uh, whether there will be a second round uh, or not. You do the numbers, but um, from uh, the way it uh, looks, it uh, just does appear uh, that the um, opposition political party leader, H.H., uh, might just have done well in that regard in as far as crossing the 50 plus one uh, is concerned. But it is all important to wait for the official declaration and after that, it will be uh, no 
no guessing that he will be uh, declared the winner if that declaration is uh, in his favor. So without you know, having to go um, round in circles, what is just being awaited is for that clarity, that announcement that um, candidates, whether it's uh, Mr. Haka in the Hichilema or indeed um, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu having hit the 50 plus one uh, margin. But you've got to give it to the uh, uh, UPND leader for a massive performance. And if you compare uh, with the last uh, uh, performance in the uh, 2016 uh, elections, he's clearly done very, very well in this uh, uh, particular ele uh, election. And the wait is on yet again, perhaps uh, the last of what uh, was expected but it is the, uh, examination, uh, the Electoral Commission of Zambia doing its best and showing that they want to be as meticulous as they possibly can. They don't want to make any errors. They're going to do the percentages. They will come back and make that all-important declaration that will uh, either put uh, uh, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema in the position of uh, uh, president uh, elect and um, uh, whether it is, will be uh, Mr. Edgar Chagalungu. But it is uh, very, very clear that it has been a very tight race, a very well fought battle uh, here. Uh, very impressive performance uh, by uh, the UPND. What a tight race it has been. And uh, whether that declaration is going to come in the 10 minutes that's been promised by the ECZ is a matter which uh, can only be seen once it happens. There have been uh, times and delays with uh, the breaks that have been given by the Electoral Commission of Zambia, which is going to be said have done um, quite some work in reaching up uh, to this level. There will be a lot of reactions and counter reactions uh, to uh, this whole uh, process and you could uh, actually feel the sense of, uh, of, uh, of, 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 uh, of regret by uh, international observers, local observers, just everybody in the room once that announcement was made that the Electoral Commission of Zambia had to take uh, another, another break. So, will HH as is uh, fondly called uh, by uh, his supporters, carry the day. That is uh, the big ask, and what will the declaration be? In waiting for that, you all have to stay glued uh, on the national broadcaster as um, that wait uh, happens. The patience has been really notable on the part of uh, many a uh, stakeholder, and of course, many uh, Zambians. So you can hear the uh, preamble of the celebrations. It could be indicating something, but we're here to wait for the official declaration by the ECZ. So what we can ask you to do is to stay with us. I'm enough your singing. You are difficult. What is Sumina to Leopa? Gashia Quakasan. The Louisapan at Tawamupe. What and why Lizzo? She's handsome. Beauty fraud. Mulete Panomon. You are bling him here. Hi, Menamushe. Jesus. Enka show over it. M. by Minims. So you are difficult. Are you malaging? Answer, Minamushi. Nsaku Pitambari, Neoroma, so japa. Sininga. It's a male. Ah, difficult. You marry him, your sister. Do you understand? Oh, thank you, sweetie. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. You may kiss the bride. Finally! <laughs> the love of my heart is to love you more. I'm gonna tell you why my clothes look bright Tell you why my clothes look clean Tell you why they smell so nice I'm feeling fresh, you know what I mean It's got a little bit of oxy bleach with a 
nice perfume that will leave your clothes looking rich and have you feeling good. Aloha Washing Powder. Say hello to Fresh. Chiu, chiu, my guy. Ale isaure so mbone. Ala sa tu mbone we ngoi. She sparkles. Do you guys have anything big? Oh. E boy. Ah. Can't she use a big soft drink so much ela vira boy. Taste the fun. Big soft drinks come in different flavors. I woke up feeling great. Need a kick for the day. Got a taste that is keeping me away. Something fresh, something true. Unforgettable, something new. I can trust as my interests draw the way. of perfection bring satisfaction think milk think finta Right, so the wait uh, continues, uh, but like Franklin did uh, indicate, um, it's almost uh, um, up there in the air just for everybody to see uh, where this one is going. Um, and obviously there's lots of uh, expectations from uh, the UPND, um, you know, faithfuls, UPND supporters who will be, uh, you know, um, just warming up to celebrate, I can imagine. Um, but also the issue of uh, uh, what, uh, you know, will be expected of uh, uh, the president-elect, uh, Mr. Um, you know, Hakan Lema, obviously, if uh, he is, um, you know, um, declared by the uh, Electoral Commission of Zambia, would be... Uh, uh, what will characterize the discussions going forward. So we'll be getting back to Franklin Temple Jr. just to get uh, exactly what is pretending um, on the ground. Um, we can only, um, you know, give you more information with regards to what Oz has obtained uh, once the uh, ECZ, uh, you know, uh, makes the declaration. As for now, we'll just uh, wait on uh, the, uh, you know, country's uh, electoral election body just to uh, give us uh, the... Uh, you know, uh, declaration. So you do well to uh, stay with us here on ZNBC uh, TV1 as we await the declaration from, you know, the ECZ. Franklin Tembo Jr. and the rest of the crew um, is uh, standing by at uh, the Mulungushi International Conference Center just to give us uh, more meat, more detail and more, um, you know, um, information around what is uh, pretending um, when it comes to, uh, you know, the election results. So you do well to stay with us. You must uh, mention here that uh, it was quite a very um, you know, busy rest, so to speak. 16 individuals um, did express interest, did, you know, um, vie for the, uh, you know, uh, country's top job. Um, we're hoping to occupy, um, you know, plot one. Uh, obviously, the incumbent uh, uh, was uh, in the race as well. And uh, one lady, one female, uh, did uh, make up, uh, you know, that stress, and there'll be lots of talking points around the need for uh, more women to come and, uh, you know, participate um, in that uh, presidential race. So um, it uh, goes um, without saying that uh, many women out there must now begin to uh, fancy themselves, begin to dream of uh, joining the race so that the narrative of, uh, you know, having, you know, a very good profile when it comes to uh, women participation in, uh, in politics um, becomes brighter for the country. And also, um, there will be a need for, um, you know, talking points around, um, you know, giving Zambians a pat, um, you know, uh, on the back for really turning up in large numbers to um, exercise their civic duty um, and become part of uh, the narrative when it comes to, uh, you know, decision making when picking the uh, presidential, um, you know, um, 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 uh, candidates deciding who should govern this country. Um, it's a very, very important, uh, you know, uh, civic duty that, uh, you know, Zambians must uh, embrace going forward. And the core really is that 
going forward, uh, you know, as we uh, witness uh, um, and take part in in uh, in uh, elections uh, after five years again, that you know this will be more like a foundation for greater participation of citizens in uh, you know uh, deciding who you know governs uh, you know the country. So um, that is going to be part of uh, the conversation. But again. Um, it will be obviously very important that uh, you know whoever takes over, you know, um, um, if uh, president, uh, you know, uh, of uh, the UPND, uh, Mr. Hagaende Ishlama, is declared as uh, the president of this country for the next five years, it will be interesting to see how he's going to appreciate the young people that did turn up in large numbers to give him, you know, um, their votes. Um, what is he going to do to ensure that uh, they don't regret, you know, um, what they have done? Because they woke up early in the morning to ensure that uh, uh, they put their vote uh, uh, on, on his name. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that's going to, uh, to, to, to pan out. Obviously, uh, you know, if he is declared as a president, um, uh, Mr. Hitchlema will be inheriting an economy that has got so many challenges. The, uh, uh, in there, the mention of, of, of debt, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, comes in, and the question really is, how is he going to deal with that? How is he going to service the debt, and then at the same time uh, grow the country's economy? So it's going to be very interesting uh, that cocktail of uh, you know uh, economic discourse. How is um, you know uh, uh, the president uh, going to deal uh, with that? So lots of expectations as well. Remember, the biggest promise for uh, from the UPND uh, is around uh, providing free education up to university level. Uh, Franklin joins me now. He's back uh, on the line. Uh, Franklin, great to have you once again. Um, I, I know that you did attempt to uh, paint the picture of what Mulungushi looks like after, you know, uh, uh, the country's election body, the ECZ, announced the other, you know, um, results from the, uh, you know, um, constituencies that were remaining. What, what is it like now? Um, I, I can imagine that the, uh, the momentum, you know, the, the, the excitement, you know, is building by the minute there. Well, I don't think that you even have to imagine anything. <laughs> you can actually feel it. The right. atmosphere is uh, that of uh, anxiety because um, the expectation is that uh, by now the epi episodes of waiting should be over. Mm -hmm. But then the Electoral Commission of Zambia has to do uh, what it does. And uh, what we've come to all uh, get used to is uh, the uh, issues of verification or consolidation uh, as it were. So it is... Uh, all about doing what has to be done, following the whole process, um, uh, letter by letter, or uh, step by step, or due diligence, um, if you will. And it's 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 all part of making sure that there is no doubt, no issues that uh, uh, should uh, remain unchecked. So the ECZ is trying to do as much as it can uh, to follow the whole process. Now remember that. Uh, the Electoral Commission of Zambia has a very high reputation. This is being watched internationally. And now the final moment uh, is uh, uh, here because it's just about uh, the declaration. And uh, what percentage has been amassed here uh, to declare the winner? Remember that the threshold is 50 plus 1. That's the number that you should be looking out for. We have come back to the moment that we've all been waiting for. Without further ado, please allow me to hand over to the Chief Electoral Officer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning once again. Before I call upon the Commission Chairperson, allow me to just thank all the stakeholders, especially the political parties, for making us work tirelessly and indeed cooperating with the Commission and heeding to the pleas of the Commission. We are most grateful. Allow me also to thank the staff of the Commission across this country who worked so tirelessly to ensure that this election was a success. We had a number of our staff who worked under extremely difficult circumstances. Some are still working as we speak. We are most grateful for the level of professionalism demonstrated by every single one of you 
across the country, and our gratitude goes out to you. We also extend thanks to all the stakeholders that have been here, men and women from the media that have kept informing the nation of what the proceedings have been. At this juncture, allow me now to call upon the Commission Chairperson, Honorable Mr. Justice Esau Chulu, to conclude the deliberations. Chair. Thanks very much, CEO. Press one to section 73 of subsection 2 of the Electoral Process Act number 35 of 2016. I have made a decision to announce and declare the results of the presidential election without having received the full results from Mandevu constituents. The said provision permits me as a returning officer to proceed to declare the winner of this election as waiting for the said Mandevu constituents results would unreasonably delay the declaration thereof. Further, the outstanding results are not likely to materially influence the overall result of this election. Therefore, the consolidated results are for 155 constituencies out of 156 constituencies plus 181 polling stations out of 195 polling stations for Mandevu constituents. I now proceed to the declaration of the president-elect. Declaration of President-elect. The electoral process general regulations of 2016 as already pronounced, whereas Parliament was dissolved on the 14th day of May 2021, and whereas an election to the office of president was conducted on the 12th day of August 2021. Now, therefore, I, Honorable Mr. Justice Iso Elliot Chulu, being the returning officer for the election to the office of president, do hereby declare that I have, in accordance with the law, ascertain the results of such election and the very divorce we are given to Silumbe Richard LM 1283 1,283 Mwenda Kasonde EFF 1331 one comma three three one Nirenda Stephen Nareb one thousand seven hundred and sixty six one comma seven six six Tembo Sean Pep one thousand seven hundred and ninety eight one comma seven nine eight Mwamba Msonda T.S. Unit 2,992 2,992 Tonga Enoch Ara 3rd LM 3,088 3,088 Mumba Nevers S. M.M.D. 4,809 4,809 
Gisela Lazarus, ZUSD, 5,229, 5,229. Chanda Charles, UPPZ, 6,000, 520, 6,520. Kateka Chishala, NHP, 8,063, 8,063. Hamdudu High VH, PNUP, 10,388, 10,388. Mebe Fred, SP, 16,379, Banda Antford, M, Park, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,804, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,04, 19,
following this uh, very crucial and uh, historic election victory that uh, is obviously not just for the UPND but for the country as a whole. This is a new beginning. I would like to begin by thanking the Almighty God. The Almighty God, He who makes light come into darkness and darkness come into light for this day. This day was long time coming. Yes. I don't even know if I personally will have a job in this new government because Mr. Hichilema, if he was here, we would not have toasted to anything. So we've jumped the protocol because as far as he's concerned, there is nothing to celebrate. There is absolutely nothing to celebrate. That is the man we are speaking about. That is his state of mind. But we broke the protocol by popping some Moy and Shandong as just a symbol of a happy moment. Must, must be very emotional for you. Uh, well, I'm man enough to control my emotions. That. If Mr. Hichilema was here, we would not have toasted to anything. Because this country has got a lot of challenges. The challenges which the Zambian people, in their collective wisdom, have decided to lump on the shoulders of this one man. But we must be quick to say that this one man is equal to the task. Yes. Is equal to the task and therefore you must all watch the space. I would like to thank the ECZ. Although they took long to dispense of this business. <laughs> although they took long. They did take long to dispense of this business. I was saying they took very long to dispense of this business. But in life, it's said that it's better late than never. It's better late than never. So we thank them for this moment. We want to reiterate our gratitude, our thankfulness to everybody who took a part in this particular democratic process. As you know, you don't need to be told that the UPND has been in this struggle for 23 years and to find themselves in the position of authority as the case may be now, we call it the position of authority, courtesy of the Zambian people, rather than a position of power, because the power belongs to the people. We want to thank you, Zambians. We want to make particular thanks. We want to make particular thanks to the youth bracket of this country, because they were the most hit by the recklessness, the short-sightedness, the myopic nature of the government of yesteryear, namely the PF. 
We want to thank you, youths of this country. We want to celebrate you for making a bold decision, for coming out in a cold night to queue up as early as 1 o'clock in the morning, waiting for the day to break on the 12th in order to give a resounding, resounding victory for Mr. Hichilema, who has now broken the record of this particular country because after Frederick Titus Jacob Chuluva's 59, 60 percent win in 1991, we have hit that target plus or minus. We want to thank you for making your voice come out so strong and we want to assure you that we will not let you down. Yes. In our state of mind, we will not let you down. We will do everything that is humanly possible to make sure that the resources of this country are utilized to the best interests of those whose interests and aspirations we have endeavored to serve. Mr. Hichilema is not just a resilient human being, he is also tenacious. This is a true definition of tenacity, that in the midst of trouble, in the midst of walking through the valley of the darkness of, of death, as you know, he has been a victim. But the good news is that Mr. Hichilema is a Christian by his making, and he knows, and he also believes that vengeance is for God. You made reference to the electoral process and how slow it's been. Is that part of the priority that you want to look at? We have said it before, and we are not shy to say it again, that under this new order, we are going to create a truly independent electoral commission, which is what's been lacking in this country. And we are not ashamed to say you can mark our lips, you can mark our words. Our story is that for democracy to thrive, we are going to endeavor as one of the biggest priorities to make sure that the uh, Electoral Commission of Zambia is truly independent, meaning that we will not swallow our words. The commissioners will have to come from the different political persuasion rather than being appointed by one human being. That was our undertaking. It still remains our undertaking. Parties before you, parties before you have, have, have pledged before to make reforms, including reforms of the Public Order Act uh, and also giving essential freedoms to people. But then when they get into power, they forget. Will you do the same? There's an old adage in Zambia, my friend, which is, says, those are those, we are another. We will live by our words. We are believers of the fundamental rights and freedoms of people. In its current form, the Public Order Act has been abused by successive governments. It has been operating under the whims of human beings. I want to quote from the fallen president, President Patrick Levy Manawasa, who said that this government is going to be a government of laws rather than that of men. Ladies and gentlemen, it's and, been a wonderful that, night. You Sorry, you're going to maintain to the Public Order Act? But the Public Order Act is a necessary tool in any society. So but it will not be, it will be reformed. I want to say to you, in its current form, the Public Order Act is lacking a little bit. But the past government have used it to abuse citizens. That will be completely void in the government of the UPND. There will be no citizen that is going to... Can you please keep quiet? There will be no citizen that is going to be a victim of a law. What does the party have to say to Mr. Anderson Mazoka and obviously to supporters because this had to come from a dream, some passion to... The, I know for a fact that Mazoka's spirit now lies in peace because this was his dream. 
and we will not let him down even in his fallen state. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a formal press conference. Mr. Gary Combo there talking to the press, reacting to the victory that uh, officially confirms. Uh, Mr. Haka Inde Hichilema as uh, Zambia's uh, president-elect. Uh, what a moment um, this one has been. What follows is uh, the celebration and the victory um, being so well done, about 60%. So crossing that threshold uh, by a very, very impressive uh, margin uh, that uh, has been uh, recorded here. Uh, by the uh, United Party for National Development. And this is uh, what uh, defines uh, the country. What follows and what everybody will be hoping for is uh, that uh, the process will only get better and that uh, there will be um, consideration you know, as far as uh, the, uh, the victors and the vanquished uh, are concerned. Uh, the celebrations uh, also should not just uh, be about uh, the victory for the United Party for National Development because the true winner in the end is uh, the country's democratic dispensation. And whereas there could have been doubts as to whether this was going to end in the first round, it has been an emphatic victory. And uh, Mr. Gary Combo making reference to what happened in 1991, likening it uh, to the MMD's uh, Frederick Chiluba's uh, victory um, after beating uh, the United Party uh, for national, uh, the United Party for um, uh, national independence. Now it is uh, up to reactions, counter reactions. How does the country move forward uh, from uh, this uh, moment on? Clearly, what has been demonstrated has been the active participation uh, of uh, the youth. There was massive turnout in this particular election. Uh, the performance uh, by uh, the party also being buoyed by uh, this particular uh, contribution by the uh, young people whose uh, vote has also counted. And we saw queues, we saw uh, senior citizens uh, getting out to vote uh, when uh, it was uh, not expected to, as far as uh, the enthusiasm uh, was concerned. It is a democracy, it is a democracy, a competition of ideas, and Zambians, the Zambian people have decided, and it is only right for other competitors to congratulate the United Party for National Development uh, for running a good race. Clearly, this was very uh, you know, very, very tight in the sense that uh, the UPND had to fight its way uh, to outdo the patriotic front, um, which uh, was vying and to get back the uh, power. Uh, but as it is, Zambian people have spoken, and Mr. Hakainde Hishilema is Zambia's president elect. You okay? Yes, I am.
Well, they have it. After five attempts, President uh, Hage Ndeishlema of the United Party for National Development, GPND, has, according to uh, official EZ results, just been confirmed winner of uh, the 2021 presidential election. Uh, President-elect uh, uh, Hage Ndeishlema becomes Zambia's seventh Republican president. Um, now, obviously, this is going to be a very historic moment because surely uh, the books of uh, uh, Zambia's uh, political history have a new name. It's, uh, you know, President-elect, Haga um, Hijrema. And uh, Zambians, uh, obviously, are getting uh, so much, um, um, you know, to talk about as far as what is expected of, uh, uh, you know, uh, this son of the soil to uh, take Zambia's economic, uh, you know, um, credentials, Zambia's economic, uh, you know, um, facet to another level. And what remains to be seen really is how he's going to do that, given the many challenges that uh, hit uh, this, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, economy. So uh, stay with us here on ZNPC TV because we will be having lots of reactions from uh, different stakeholders with regards to what has transpired at uh, Mulungushi International Conference Center. And in case you're just, uh, you know, tuning in, you missed out on the announcement of the results. The ECZ, the country's election body, has uh, finally, you know, broken the anxiety uh, that uh, had uh, gripped the country um, in, uh, in the last few hours as uh, everybody was waiting here whether or not uh, Mr. Haga Inde Hichlema, you know, will be declared president of the Republic of Zambia. So it's been a very interesting race for, um, you know, uh, the man who has had a go at uh, the presidency, uh, not for the first time. This is for the uh, 60th time, as a matter of fact. And uh, he will be uh, looking at himself uh, with uh, lots of pride when it comes to what is achieved as uh, an individual, but also uh, for the, uh, you know, UPND, the party itself, um, the amount of resilience that he did exhibit for it to be uh, up to this particular time is something that's going to be part of this narrative and um, Zambia uh, stands obviously to see how um, Mr. Hakainde, the president-elect of Zambia is going to ensure that Zambia remains a united force. Zambia, you know, moves forward um, in line with the UPND manifesto which has got so many uh, facets around um, you know, um, to issues to do with uh, improving the country's economy uh, you know, providing quality and uh, free education uh, to all uh, Zambians. It's going to be uh, one that, uh, um, you know, um, surely is going to be talked about tomorrow and the days to come. And obviously, uh, I can imagine what will be the, um, the headlines. I can imagine what the brains behind the crafting of uh, the headlines in uh, the press will be saying. Perhaps they'll be saying, uh, you know, Plot one at last, HH. I don't know. But it's going to be a very, very, um, you know, uh, interesting uh, week to come to, to the fourth. But surely um, it is just natural that, uh, um, you know, we take time perhaps to congratulate each and every person uh, that did uh, contest in this uh, year's election. Now, President uh, Hichilema has been described as a perennial presidential candidate, having contested five times, um, you know, um, and this um, obviously can be traced uh, as way back as 2006, 2008, 2011, uh, 2015, and 2016. But today, the narrative has changed with this 60th attempt earning him, you know, um, success, and indeed today uh, the resilience has uh, paid off. Now, different, um, different, uh, you know, um, um, you know, um, individuals that uh, really have got a heart for the, uh, you know, party have been celebrating, um, and earlier, you know, Earlier on in the day, cr um, crowds of people surrounded the residence of uh, the president-elect uh, in anticipation of his victory. Obviously, because of the way the results were flowing, uh, they were coming in, indicating that he was in the lead, and he stayed in the lead uh, for quite some time. So, uh, let's take you, uh, let's share with you rather the content that we gathered, um, you know, from the residence of the president-elect, Mr. Hagainde Hijilema.
August was the day that Zambians went to vote and they did vote for their preferred leader. And today, as we see, the person that has been leading with the results is the president for the United Party of National Development, Hagainde Hichilema, president-elect. And here, as you can see me at his residence, the number of people that have come, and behind me, a number of them are here celebrating that he is president-elect for Zambia. Hagainde Hichilema's residence, here, as we see, a number of people have come, and he's inside as he works for the final results to be announced. <laughs> UPND. Tisa koke fani wazo tia wanzatu kwa vwa menya naa. Tifuna Zambia buwelele mumutendele mwanenze ni kudala. Ante vini wa MMD. So nifuna nipe mpata tiari wonze munga wa Zambia. Let us be peaceful and let us celebrate mu peaceful. What I can say as long as God is there no man can stand Amen. on the way. I think what we just needed as a nation, as a country, we just needed change. Like the nation, everything, everything was collapsing. The, the cadres were just in front of everything. People were educated, we were not even seeing them, only seeing cadres prospering. So we just thought of, no, let's just make a change. I'm so excited that change has come and Bali is about to fix everything. Everything in Bali! We're so happy! Yupi and D come into power and I can't wait. Just wishing our president good health and may God bless him and may he come and lead this country as a God-fearing man, the all we know him in the neighborhood. Amen! I'm more than happy. I'm emotional. Please. Oh, and what do you hope for the president to do? A lot. Anyways, Bali has already fixed, fixed everything. He's fixed it. I'm also a business lead. I keep chickens. I've got a small farm at my place. Mm -hmm. For me, if I go to hybrid today, for me to go and order chicks, mm. I'll get them next year, January. Uh -huh. So how am I going to sell? How am I going to grow my business? If I order a chick today, six quarter, I'll go there next month. 10 kwacha, 20, we are ordering one chick at 15 kwacha right now. And then if I order today, I have to get in January. How do you expect my business to grow? So Bali should look into this. Bali should fix it. He already told us he will fix he it. He has already He's fixed our it. Bad. I've been supporting him from 2006. My name is uh, Kaunda Chongo, a UPND member. We are so happy for this victory that we have delivered to the people of Zambia. It has not been easy because of the victimization that we have faced from the outgoing government. We thank God that finally we have delivered and we are, want to assure the nation there will be no cardinalism. One love, one Zambia! Zambia! Yeah, we have done it! Thank you so much. Well, I'll tell you what, those images, those um, scenes there were obviously domiciled in the dream valley, so to speak, of the UPND. Today, it is reality. Having attempted to get to uh, Plot 1 five times, uh, surely one of the possible headlines tomorrow in the papers, perhaps it's going to be six takes Bali to Plot 1. 
um, obviously lots of uh, talking points around that particular um, achievement and you can tell from uh, the faithfuls of the UPND they expect a lot um, from the man who's been at the helm of uh, you know uh, the party after the demise of the founding uh, you know president uh, uh, let uh, uh, Anderson uh, Mazoka uh, in 2006 it's been a journey that uh, really uh, does account for a very um, inspirational um, you know, aspects. Um, you know, you give it, you, you attempt to achieve something once it fails, the second time it fails, the third time it fails, you think, you think like, you're, like giving up, but then you push on for the fourth and, and you are almost tempted to give up. You push for the fifth um, and, and then you, 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 you just tell yourself, I have to keep on going. And when almost, um, uh, you know, you are tempted to, to give up, and there you have it, you get what you want. So we'll be getting to um, pick you know, minds of uh, different stakeholders, uh, different individuals, different uh, you know, public figures um, you know, in the country just to get the reaction to what has transpired. Um, you know, uh, Zambia has the seventh president. It's uh, you know, the president of uh, the uh, opposition, well, not the opposition, it was in the opposition, uh, UPND um, you know, uh, party now. Uh, into power with, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Hakainde uh, Hichlema uh, being president-elect after, um, you know, the EZ declared him winner of the presidential election that uh, was hosted in the country on the 12th of um, August. So we shall also be getting back to Mulungushi and just getting what uh, is happening there. Uh, Franklin is still there uh, and standing by to give us, uh, you know, a, a bit of uh, the feel uh, with regards to um, what uh, um, is transpiring. So you do well to um, stay with us as uh, we continue to uh, look at the post, you know, um, reactions of um, you know uh, this um, you know development uh, it's an election that uh, the country surely must be very proud of the fact that um, it was held and held successfully Franklin Temple jr. is a um, you know is about to um, you know give us uh, his thoughts as a matter of fact it's uh, just on doing now I'm talking to uh, just to give us uh, you know uh, a feel of what Mulungushi is uh, you know been treated to uh, following the uh, declaration of uh, uh, Mr. Hagen as uh, the winner of uh, the presidential election. Jason Gushi is, uh, you know, being treated to uh, following the uh, declaration of uh, uh, Mr. Hagen as uh, the winner of uh, the presidential election. Jason Gushi is, uh, you know, being treated to uh, following the uh, declaration of uh, uh, Mr. Hagen as uh, the winner of uh, the presidential election. Jason Gushi Apologies, there's a slight delay. Of course, you know, uh, we seem to be having um, you know, techno technological challenges uh, with that crossover. We hope to uh, get it right um, you know, um, in the second attempt to just get Jason uh, come on board and just share with us what he's gathered uh, from Mulungushi International Conference Center, uh, the venue that has seen the country's election body. Uh, it is said uh, declare, you know, uh, uh, you know um, uh, Mr. Haga Indeishlema as uh, the president elect after, you know, taking part in the presidential um, election. Uh, Zambia is concerned. And obviously, President elect is a President Haga in the Hijilema. And let's quickly look at how he has performed as far as the presidential race is concerned. And let's quickly uh, get ourselves there, shall we? Because there's a lot that we need to expect going forward. And uh, obviously, uh, following the announcement that was made, it's important that we quickly see ourselves uh, get up to speed. So, in terms of numbers, let's pay attention, shall we? Because the UPND has poured 2,810,000 votes, uh, 757 in total, against the closest rival, who is obviously was the incumbent, President Edgar Lungu, uh, obviously of the Patriotic Front, who has managed to secure 1,814,201. And obviously, if you do the math, I know that a lot of you out there back home are watching, we've got your calculators on, wants to see how the difference is, but we can assure you that it's a 50, 50, 50 plus one in terms of the uh, you know, percentage, in terms of difference. He has managed to secure that particular one as according to the uh, Constitution. And obviously, Zambia has a total of about 10 provinces, and all those provinces, we can simply go uh, page, uh, province by province uh, to give you all the latest stats as far as how the uh, president-elect has fared in this particular election. But before we do that, shall we, 
we must take note also that uh, Harry Kalaba of the Democratic Party uh, managed to pull in uh, 24,879 votes, which obviously pits him into third position in as far as the rest is concerned. Remember that in 2016, 2015, 26, 2015, when we had uh, in a presidential election, uh, we did also see that uh, Banda Antford was third in the race, for in as far as the presidential race is concerned. This time around, the Democratic Party uh, in charge with Harry Kalaba has managed to secure that third spot. And uh, Banda Antford of the People Alliance for Change PAC is only uh, sitting fourth in position with 19,804 uh, votes. Fred Member Socialist Party, first time, and contesting as far as the presidential race is concerned. Uh, they're not far off. They're, they're fourth, they're, they're two, fifth in position in as far as the race is concerned. 16,379 votes that they have managed to, uh, you know, pull in this particular race. Uh, Hamudu Duhive of uh, PNUP, 10,388. Uh, all these are new political parties that are taking part in, in the uh, election as far as uh, the Zambian uh, election history is uh, concerned. Well, that he was uh, uh, partially, uh, rather for a long time, with the UPND. Kateka Chala B of NHP, 8,063 votes. And obviously Chanda Charles of UPPZ, 6,520. I can go on uh, to the bottom of this particular page gently, all right? Uh, but obviously, uh, let's, let's check if whether we can do that. Yeah, so we've gone at the bottom. Uh, remember that there were 16 candidates that were all vying uh, for the presidential slot. And of the 16, it's only one that has been confirmed as the winner. That's President-elect Haga Inde Hijilema. But to go down with you at, at the very end, of uh, you know the list we still have uh, candidates such as uh, mumba nevers of the uh, mmd who poured in 4809 votes tonga enoch third liberation movement around 3088 votes and obviously unip has been uh, uh, this is a part that has been around for quite a long time in as far as zambia's uh, you know political landscape is concerned uh, this time around they only managed to pour in 2,999. Let's quickly, therefore, uh, I know that there's a lot of anticipation to quickly listen to other key stakeholders that have got a huge uh, you know, opinion regarding this particular election. Let's start off with the southern province, shall we? And in southern province, this is how it looks like when, on as far as the presidential race is concerned, Pay particular attention. Uh, there's a total of about 11,777 votes that were rejected. Total votes uh, cast are standing around 6, 655,000, I beg your pardon, 806 votes, representing a total turnout of 83.86%. That's how it was. And as far as the presidential race is concerned, Hagain de Hijilema, president elect, as a matter of fact, with the UPND, is around 600,100. And 98, and obviously, as the cases was, there is the patriotic front who were actually trailing there with 36,255. I will not spend so much time getting down as far as the race is concerned, but I will just simply bring you back to uh, the next province so that we can pay particular attention how the voting pattern has been. Let's move to uh, Western province. Obviously, uh, this was um, assumed as a stronghold uh, for the uh, van. Obviously, as a matter of fact, uh, you know. Uh, you know, opposition party who are now obviously in the uh, driving seat as far as the, the uh, you know, political realm is concerned. And obviously, Haga in the Hijilema, president-elect, poured around 276,280 votes. And yet again, the patriotic front are still trailing second with 44,641. Please. Allow me only to consider on the two candidates because uh, this is where the race has been as far as the presidential uh, seat is concerned, which obviously has been won by the UPND. Let's move to the next um, uh, province, and we concentrate obviously uh, to now uh, Lusaka province. With so much expectation started around this particular province, uh, before this particular election, it was felt uh, though that the patriotic front were in the driving seat as far as the election was concerned, but the results obviously are showing Otherwise, because the UPN deployed 400,662 votes against the second or runners up in as far as the race is concerned, uh, the Patriotic Front were around 301,095 votes. Yet again, uh, the Democratic Party, they seem to be the stronger party as far as the recently introduced part of the Zambian political, political landscape with uh, you know, votes pouring around 2,116. So basically, this is what it is. Let me just give you a feel though. Uh, regards how Lusaka province, you know, pulled in. Uh, let's pick, for instance, uh, Chirundu, a little tap in there. So we'll just show you how it looks like. So when you move to Chirundu, 
all right? These are constituencies within Lusaka province. Haga in the Hijilema still leading in as far as the driving seat is concerned. 20,543 votes were poured in that regard. And obviously, Patriotic Front yet again second the driving seat with 2,992. Let's go back and move to the next province because we expect that... Uh, Obviously, to continue looking at uh, uh, the uh, various uh, provinces, how they have fared. And in this case now, let's move from, we've done western and southern. Let's quickly pick eastern province and see what has happened in there, obviously. And uh, eastern province also presumed to be one of those uh, strongholds uh, for the, uh, you know, uh, you know patriotic front. But let's have a look at how these things have been. And as the case, the Patriotic Front have, have did really continue to dominate in as far as the rest is concerned. They poured in 308,520 in as far as the stats are concerned. But uh, the UPN yet again uh, coming in second with 213,707. So that's basically how the presidential race has uh, you know, fared so far in as far as this particular election is concerned. I could have loved to continue, obviously, to uh, basically see how uh, the results have, uh, you know, how the different political parties have fared uh, going forward. Uh, and obviously, um, let's quickly touch um, one more, uh, you know, uh, province, Copper Belt to be precise, and Copper Belt province, this is how the province fared in as far as the voting pattern is concerned. And if you have followed how the results have been pouring in, this has sort of been the swing province because uh, previously this is a province that has been dominated by the patriotic front or simply put a ruling uh, you know, party or a party in government as a matter of fact. But as the case is showing on your screens right now, uh, the uh, UPN you were in opposition and currently now sitting in the driving seat with its uh, you know with the current president elect Haga in the Hijilema, they managed to pour in four hundred and twenty thousand four hundred and forty three votes that they managed to uh, secure as far as this particular race is concerned and the UPND were around three hundred thousand four hundred and thirteen votes that they managed uh, to secure going forward but please pay particular attention uh, rejected votes are standing at thirteen thousand seven hundred forty eight which obviously entails that there's need uh, for more voter education, more especially as we drive towards 2026. Voter turnout, 72.67%. And obviously, uh, Brian, I could have loved to go on, but obviously in the interest of time, I will be able to look at these uh, infographics a little bit later as we'll be able to analyze how this particular election has gone by. But for now, I'll uh, just simply you know, say thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to uh, summarize how the presidential uh, election has been for 2021 and back to you at the studio. Thank you very much, uh, Jason. Very um, um, el elaborate, uh, you know, there. And uh, we hope that uh, we'll be um, getting back to, to, we hope to get back to, to Mulungushi again, just to uh, get more uh, intel and as far as, uh, you know, uh, information is, is concerned from that particular, uh, you know, scale. But uh, Jason was on point when you spoke about the fact that um, the UPND did, um, you know, gain ground in what was perceived to be the strongholds of uh, the then ruling party, the Patriotic Front. And that is what perhaps has led to uh, what uh, we have witnessed and there was talk about the fact that uh, well um, the, the stronghold so to speak of uh, uh, Mr. Haga and Asia remained intact uh, the PF was not was not uh, you know um, in any way uh, getting as, as, as much uh, as they would have loved to do but in the in the in the opposite uh, you know um, uh, you know uh, camp in the opposite strongholds uh, the uh, you know UPND were on hand to dominate, and that is what has led to uh, the uh, you know UPND uh, emerging victorious. And now, uh, President Haga Ndeshlema is the president elect of this country. In case you were sleeping and you've just woken up, well, the news that is hitting your screen right now, and the news that is hitting you right now, is the fact that uh, Zambia has a new president. It's uh, Mr. Haga Ndeshlema uh, who has been declared president um, of the Republic of Zambia by, uh, you know, uh, the ECZ. What remains to be seen is how, you know, um, he's going to settle down, you know, as, as president. Um, it was mentioned early on by Mr. Gary Nkombo, um, a very senior member of the UPND. He did emphasize the fact that um, given a chance to, to, to decide what should happen, um, you know, uh, what happened at Mulungushi, the president-elect would have not approved uh, for that celebration because when it comes to uh, the president-elect, at least according to uh, Mr. Nkombo, is the fact that, um, you know, 
he doesn't see any need to celebrate because the uh, challenges that uh, you know punctuate Zambia's uh, you know um, uh, sitting right now you know, are extremely immense. And uh, he uh, did uh, emphasize the fact that the president-elect remains dedicated to living up to the expectations of, uh, of, 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 uh, of, uh, of uh, Zambians. So it will be interesting to see what is going to be happening uh, going forward. I mean, the youths did turn up in huge numbers. Mr. Nkombo was on hand to, um, you know, convey his heartfelt uh, appreciation uh, to uh, the, um, you know, young people, uh, but also promised that, uh, you know, the party will remain focused uh, to ensure that, uh, um, you know, uh, it delivers on the promises that it made to the young people. Uh, so young people out there, um, obviously very expectant of uh, what, uh, you know, um, the party um, in power is uh, going to, to offer, but surely uh, it's been a very interesting race, hasn't it? And um, history has been made today. Uh, the man who's been attempting to become president for five times uh, has finally made it, um, uh, you know, to uh, to plot one. Now is the president elect and uh, the uh, party that was uh, in power now gets into the opposition what remains to be seen also about the uh, patriotic front going forward is uh, whether or not it will be able to uh, you know remain standing after you know being uh, after losing this uh, particular contest um, whether uh, the party is going to be uh, you know brave enough is going to um, you know, withstand <laughs> this um, ugly development you know for the party uh, going forward how will the leadership of the party, um, you know, keep it relevant to the needs of, uh, you know, uh, of, of, of Zambians? Uh, it will be very interesting as well to see whether or not they'll be able to bounce back into power because that has not yet happened in Zambia. The MMD, uh, you know, lost power. They're still in the opposition and still trying to find uh, some very, you know, uh, huge chunk uh, of space as far as Zambia's political, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, sphere is concerned. So will the the PF break the you know the record. Will the PF be able to uh, you know change that narrative now that they're in the uh, opposition? Or well, could this be the end of a party that uh, managed to uh, endear itself to uh, you know many Zambians until this particular election when Zambians felt that there was need to change and bringing fresh uh, you know brains uh, when it comes to uh, managing the country's economy so all those talking points surely account for a very interesting uh, week um, i know for a fact that uh, the inauguration is coming and um it's going to be a colorful uh, you know event i can imagine and for zambians um they should be looking forward to uh, that bit we'll be hoping to get some um uh, you know, uh, party officials of uh, the ruling party uh, or the party elects, um, you know, uh, um, on the program just to uh, get their reaction to what has transpired and, and, and really um, um, just get the feel of what is going on in the party, uh, you know, right now. So stay with us now as uh, we interested to so many talking points. And uh, really, Mr. Hagen Deich Lema was known as the man in the opposition that was, you know, um, one of the contenders for plot one. But really, who is a church? Let's find out. It has been a long walk to victory that has taken him 15 years. For the last two elections held in 2015 and 2016, he has emerged second. But this time around, Hakai Nechlema was to make a strong push to the finishing line putting up a strong fight with a determined spirit that has convinced people that he's the right person for the top job. Who is Haka Inde Ichilema and what has inspired him on his journey to State House? Haka Inde Ichilema was born on June 4, 1962 in Monze in the southern province in Chief Ham Sondes area. But despite the rural background, Haka Inde proved to be a bright child, attending primary school in his village and later secondary school in Kalomo and eventually attending the mandatory national service stint. He was later admitted to the University of Zambia, where he studied economics and business studies. Hakainde later obtained an MBA in finance and business strategy from the University of Birmingham, United Kingdom. It all started with getting, in my view, free education, being educated by the taxpayers uh, through a government bursary uh, at the University of Zambia. And then I started out on my own in business at the age of 26. So I think the rest is history. 
Uh, we've been fortunate, we've been blessed by, by God, and that's why we want to support other citizens uh, by taking public office so that we can give them the opportunity to do even much better than what we've done. What is important is the opportunity. That opportunity will come only through good leadership. And this country is short of good leadership as we sit here today. You can see the state of our economy. Popularly known as HH in political circles, Hakainde served as Chief Executive Officer of Coopers and Librand and later as CEO for Coopers' successor, Grant Thornton. He has massive experience in business with wide experience in Zambia, Southern Africa, and the UK at operational and management levels. He has chaired numerous boards of management, both abroad and in Zambia. His entrepreneurial skills are renowned. He stands out as the richest president Zambia has ever had. His investments range from farming, ranching, and real estates, with his first plot bought in Kalingalinga in Lusaka from his second salary from his first job at Coopers and Librand. Since then, he has not looked back when it comes to investment in estates. While his business acumen is well documented, it was his political career that he had to build over the years to eventually become the strongest and leading opposition leader in the country and eventually president of the Republic of Zambia. His public political career was launched in 2006 when he took over the leadership of the Opposition United Party for National Development, UPND, following the death of Anderson Mazoka. But with only a few months before the general elections, the UPND had a huge task to find a successor to their leader, late Anderson Kambela Mazoka. Haka Indechilema, a corporate executive and businessman, was headhunted and proposed to take over the party. His resistance could not hold and he eventually agreed to take up the presidency. By then, little was known about the man who had quietly carved out a strong persona as a businessman and commercial farmer. After a heated campaign within the UPND, Hakainde Ichlema was preferred among other candidates who included renowned lawyer and party vice president then, Sakwiba Skota. With the party politics settled, he was thrust into a national election within a period of 45 days. This time, he was a candidate for an alliance called the United Democratic Alliance, UDA, that included the Opposition Forum for Democracy and Development, FDD, and UNIP. At the age of 42, Hakainde was picked to contest the general elections set for September 2006 as the Alliance candidate. Thrown into the deep end, he still had to do the best that he could. See resilience in the eyes of the Zambian people, but the people of Zambia need to be liberated from economic uh, enslavement. And we in the UDA will liberate the people of Zambia. So I'm very happy to see you here in Mbala. We in the UDA have a different style. We recognize the people who are our masters. We are the servants of the people, unlike our friends in the MMD. So we recognize you first before we recognize ourselves. We in the UDA will make sure that our children, our families are able to put food on the table every day, three times a time, three times, three meals in a day. Before long, and before he could fully settle, his party was faced with another general election in 2008, following the death of Republican President Levi Mwanawasa. In less than two years, he again had a task to mobilize the party and convince the voters to elect him and the UPND. He did not have the five-year luxury to mobilize resources and canvas for votes from Zambians. We want to make sure that the people of Zambia have food. And I'm a farmer. I'm a farmer. Some of these presidential candidates don't even understand what farming is. We want to put community distance in the villages so that we can fight cattle diseases. Yeah. Zambia, we want to bring veterinary officers where they used to be in those camps as it was under the Kaunda days. To boost his chances of winning in 2009, Hakainde Ichlema and his party again decided to enter into another pact this time around with the Patriotic Front. But the pact collapsed in 2011 before it could achieve its purpose of unseating the MMD, and the UPND was on its own again. Hakainde explained then that the pact failed because of differences in economic and social programs, as well as lack of unity. Every Zambian who is objective is aware that we have been waiting for discussions for 10, 11 months, and our colleagues never came on board. One must ask the question now, what is it that uh, we would like to discuss now? The issue is that they are playing PR. 
they are playing public relations so that the people of Zambia can be deceived that they want to talk when they've never wanted to talk. Our colleagues have never wanted to talk. All they tried to do was to talk to us through a newspaper. You do not do business through a newspaper. Despite this setback, Hakainde was back on the ballot box in September 2011 general elections. But it was the PF and the late Michael Sata that managed to win the polls and form government. Never giving up, Hakainde and his party again entered the race for the January 2015 presidential elections called after the death of President Sata. His hope of unseating the PF government was firmly anchored on his message that the government then was far from meeting people's needs. Besides his consistent message of better economic management, food security and better education standards, various issues boosted his chances of winning the election. With prolonged wrangles in the patriotic front, Hakainde had an early start to an election campaign. But his attempt at the presidency in 2015, although strong, was not enough to unseat the Patriotic Front candidate Edgar Lungu. He lost the election by a narrow margin of 27,757 votes, which was less than 2%. By 2016, Hakainde Ichlema and his party, the UPND, had firmly established themselves as the main opposition candidate in the August elections. He went into an election with a similar message as before, but this time a lot louder, promising improved and affordable education, improved agriculture services, and the general improvement to the economy. But again, the PF candidate Edgar Lungu emerged as winner, but this did not sit well with the UPND and Hakainde, who petitioned the case in the Constitutional Court. This country should be run on the basis of the rule of law. Constitutionalism, we're a constitutional democracy. We're not uh, a chip and tepate country where you choose today to disrespect the rule of law or the legal provisions, in this case, the constitutional provisions that uh, the petition has to be heard. This is a constitutional provision. Zambians gave themselves this constitution. And what we are doing, my friend, is to follow the constitution because that's the only way you keep order in a country. You can't run the country on any other basis other than on the rule of law. Hakainde Ichlema managed to garner 47.6% of the vote in the 2016 election, 4% short of the winner then, President Edgar Lungu. Believing in himself, the strength of the party, and the growing support for his party and candidature, Hakainde was never to give up on his dream and push to lead Zambia. However, his campaign suffered a setback in 2017 when he was arrested on allegations of treason. He was to stay in prison for four months before he was released on a nolle prosecute. Hakainde was accused of refusing to give way to the presidential motorcade. Upon his release in August 2017, Hakainde Ichlema continued with his campaigns focusing on gaining ground from the grassroots supporters. Our children are suffering. A lot of our children are not in school because parents cannot afford our school fees. Now, our duty is to make sure that the children of the poor, the vulnerable, orphans, we can send them to school up to the ability of their intellectual endowment, free of charge, even up to university. And this is the best investment that you can give to our children. He endeared to himself the young voters, who fondly called him Bali. His campaign trails were, however, not without frustrations, as oftentimes he had to deal with restrictions in relation to the Public Order Act. Today, Hakainde walks to State House with confidence and a blueprint to move the country forward. He brings to the table his business experience to try and boost the economy. His has been a long journey to the presidency and a promise of selflessness and service to the people. Bali! Well, that is the man who now uh, becomes uh, the seventh, uh, you know, Republican president. Um, we have uh, Father Robert uh, Sihuwa uh, on phone. Uh, Father, how are you doing? It's great to have you on on, on the program. Um, what, what's your reaction to what has just transpired? Another moment that defines um, how 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 Zambia is so much in love with democracy. Yeah, I think it's a. Uh... Uh, a pleasant morning for Zambia because people wake up to a, a new season. So 
for us, I think we are glad that uh, everything has gone peaceful mm. in spite of the few incidences of violence. And it is our prayer that we still maintain God as the center of this nation and we see what the seventh reign of a president will bring to us. All right. Uh, tell me something. Um, you, you, I, I know that there's something biblical about, about seventh. Uh, am, am I right? About the number seven? Yeah, the number seven signifies rest because God created the world in six days and the seventh day he rested. And so it is an expectation that moving according to God's line, we must be able to see a sense of rest and conquest on all sides in this presidency. So in praying, that is our prayer direction, that God will give him and his team uh, wisdom and courage to bring that conquest and rest. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and talking about rest, well, you know, it's, it's been a very, um, you know, we've, we've experienced a very heated um, a temperature, temperature rising uh, because of the political activity that the country has been, uh, you know, witnessing. Um, in your view, what should, you know, the president-elect, you know, do to try and cool down the temperature, cool down the political temperature and govern a country that is united, govern a country uh, whose citizens are so much in love with one another? I think what is important is that is, is the first thing that is victory speech will be very critical at this time. It must be crafted in such a way that it shall speak to the aspirations of all Zambians. As you have noticed in the voting patterns, we've seen some strong maturity in the, I think, in the eastern province in the Copper Belt province, where it's become a nationwide vote for him. And beyond that opening speech, I think the capacity to consult and harness as many gifts and wisdom from as many Zambians as possible will be very critical. So they don't just take it, we know what we are doing, it is only ourselves. But we need to bring to the fore every gifted Zambian. And that is one of the things that will clearly unite us as a nation. Mm. Huge numbers voted for him. The numbers are not lying at all. He's managed to beat the 50 plus one, you know, uh, you know um, mark. Uh, in, in, in your view, how would you describe the huge responsibility, the huge expectation on the shoulders of uh, Zambia's uh, seventh Republican president? I think it is very key because the, the first time voters, I think, have had the loudest say and most of them are the youth. Mm. And therefore, one of the major assignments on his shoulder and as a burden is how do I attend to these youth? So the outgoing president has done a lot of wonderful work in infrastructure development across the nation. My hope would that be this administration can focus on industrial development in every district so we can create employment and we begin to, to be able to also export and you're also aware that the Patriotic Front has been in power for 10 years now. And uh, maybe it may be a language from Zambia that after every 10 years we must change hands. And this time was just a desire for change. I don't think it is that the previous government failed, but it was basically a desire for change. So we look forward to seeing the new idea. All right. And, and, and also, I mean, you mentioned earlier on that we've got, uh, you know, um, young people who did account for the larger chunk of, uh, of uh, the voting population as far as this year's elections are concerned. In, in, in your view, um, how should the, the president ensure that he meets the expectations of these young people who did brave the court, um, you know, went out there and gave him the job to govern this country? Yeah, I think one of the things he needs to understand, having worked with young people myself, yeah. is that their loyalty easily shifts. Young people of this generation are not like the older folks that we had when they, our grandparents, who when they stay with someone, it's until to the end. The young people, the moment it's not working for them, their loyalty shifts very, very fast. And therefore, the demand to produce results will be very critical. And apart from that, our new generation is not a patient generation. It's like an instant generation. They want to see things happen and happen now. And therefore, while he plans for long-term activities, 
there must be some short-term impact that he can make to appease their expectation while working on long-term. If he focuses only on long-term, he may not last long because of the, the shortness of the memory or the loyalty of this new generation. And also, when, when you look at, you know, his, his background, born in Monze, um, you know, one of, you know, um, at the time, you know, um, um, rural, you know, uh, parts of, of Zambia, and now ascending to the highest office in the land, you know, plucked out of obscurity, and now he's the headline man, so to speak. Um, how great is that inspiration for young people out there who are watching this great life um, and now is going to be, you know, at the center of Zambia's economic development? For me, I think it's an inspiration of a common and ordinary person uh, who has seen the struggles of life mm. and still remained determined in his younger ages until he studied, until he began to do his businesses, and now offers himself to be a servant of the nation. So it is our hope and prayer that uh, apart from just amplifying the glamour of his life and the wealth of his life, that the media also and uh, its teams around can also amplify the build-up of his life from his childhood, which can speak and relate to many of the young people. And I think that will be very critical because our population by and large, is very young in this nation. And therefore, a figure like this should be able to connect with them as much as possible. And I also hope that we can revive the, the youth parliament, parliament, the children's parliament. All right. So his consultation is not just with the adults, but also with the young. Well, I mean, again, the issue really here is, is going to be about him living up to his promise. Um, and and we, we've heard this narrative, uh, not just in Zambia, perhaps across the African continent, of a situation where, you know, uh, leaders go to, uh, you know, uh, beg for votes from, you know, uh, the common citizens. When they ascend to the throne, they simply cut that communication. They stay out of touch, no interaction whatsoever with the grassroots. Um, in, in, in your own you know, uh, wisdom, what is your advice to the uh, president-elect uh, on how he can be able to overcome the temptation of forgetting about the people at the grassroots? Uh, for me, he needs to build up uh, on the legacy of the uh, outgoing government, hmm. the fact that they introduced the system of going to work in the communities in the provinces. You would hear the president talk about going to this province for two or three day working visit hmm. and they are reduced the protocols so they can meet with the common people i think that's an open window that it doesn't need to close that window so that the interaction with the common person becomes very very critical and therefore it will keep his conscience alive because when he locks himself into an office it is very possible he can become uh hearted within himself and not feel the needs of the people Mm. Right now, he carries their aspirations. But if he just sits in an office, he will lose those aspirations and, turn, and the people will turn against him. So he needs to be on the ground consulting as much as possible. All right. Um, in, in your view, what, what, what do you think about the um, importance of him uh, prioritizing unifying the country um, and how that is going to help his, his, uh, his presidency, so to speak? This election, I think, has given him a starting point mm -hmm. because he's gotten garnered his voice from practically across the nation. So it is up to how he plays his cards very well to consolidate on this vote. If he just focuses on one area of a country, it will be very difficult for him. So the only challenging thing that he may have probably is among the political opponents. But where the citizens are concerned, he has them in, their hand, in his hands now. So the key part is that the selection of cabinet and all other responsibilities must be cross-country, cutting across the nation. It must be national representative. Uh, in that way, then he'll be building on the legacy that this election has been able to hand over to him.
Mm. And how, how important would, be, would the church be um, in, in, in his presidency? Uh, he's, he's president of a Christian nation, um, but also, you know, uh, the church is going to be, I want to believe, you know, very important in, in as far as how he governs this country. In your opinion as, as, as a clergy, how important will the church be in his presidency? Yeah, I think the, the church remains at the very center of all the activities of this nation. Any leader that tempers negatively with the issues of faith and Christ will not last very long on the throne. And so I pray that he will keep the legacy of Zambia as a Christian nation and build on those areas that we need to strengthen, which have been weak uh, and have not yet been strengthened. But diverting away from the faith will be suicide itself. But, and, and, and our prayer is that he doesn't walk in that line. And as a church, we stand to pray for him on the altar. We stand to give advice both publicly and also privately. Mm -hmm. And we wish him for the best because our interest is the life of the whole nation. And also, um, I mean, again, getting back to the issue of unity, um, you know, as he ascends to the highest, you know, uh, you know, uh, position in the land, um, he did obviously, you know, um, um, attract enemies, so to speak. Um, as become, as now he becomes president, um, how, you know, where does he get the strength uh, in your view to? Um, you know, be able to embrace everybody, regardless of, you know, um, whether or not they are his political enemies or not. Yeah, I think the seventh reign of his presidency signifies rest from wars, from fighting. So he mustn't be one that will take interest into conflict and mm. opposing each other. He must be one who must take interest in bringing people together. All right. And so one of the key things would be to stretch out a hand to his opponent, bring them around the table and say, let's talk. Elections are done now. Where are we going together from here? Uh, reach out to the outgoing president and show a level of leadership that I'm not bitter, I'm not angry with you. I want to recognize what you have done and build on what you have done. For me, doing that would be very critical because his presidency, will be marked by giving Zambia rest, a sense of unity, and conquest. Not fighting each other, but conquering the ills of society together as one. That is one of, going to be one of the defining moments, I think, of his presidency. All right. Uh, I want to thank you very much for your time, you know, uh, for this, Hugo. And uh, um, well, again, always, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. We look forward to interesting times ahead as we continue to believe God for a better Zambia. All right. Thank you very much. We go yes. Coming up after this short break, we'll be engaging Rose Sakala, uh, Chairperson International Relations in the UPND. Stay with us.
We're now joined on phone by Rose Sakala, Chairperson International Relations uh, in the UPND. Um, she is a Zambian-born political scientist and researcher with extensive expertise as a political analyst and conflict uh, resolution expert. Great to have you on the program. Congratulations uh, for the success and victory that you've scored as a party. Thank you. I can hardly hear you, but I think you said congratulations. <laughs> All right. This well, is a momentous occasion. It's historic, and we are so excited. All right. Share with me, did you ever see this day coming, you know, as, as a member of the UPND? Did you ever envision this day coming? There was no doubt. There was no doubt whatsoever. It was a matter of time, and God's time has come. I saw it coming. This is what Zambia really needed. And finally, finally it has come. It has come to pass. We thank God. We glorify him today. All right. In, in, in your view, why do you think Zambians have left out the 15, you know, candidates, 15, uh, you know, um, um, aspiring candidates and settled for, for your president? What do you think could be the reason for that? It was very obvious why he was the one to be picked. He has been so consistent. He has been so exemplary in his life. He has been so inspiring in private life, in, as a businessman, as a politician. The values that he embraces, he has been consistent in expressing those values. His own life has been so exemplary that Zambia believes that if he brought that experience into government, it would be to the benefit of everybody, young and old. So there was no doubt that this was the man of the moment. We are actually so excited, simply so excited. All right. The fact that young people turned up in large numbers, braved the cord, um, you know, um, went to queue up as early as, you know, one in the morning and, and until they did cast their vote. What does this, that mean to you as a party, um, you know, going forward? What does that mean to you, the commitment, the sacrifice by these young people who have given you, you know, um, governance, if you like? The young people spoke very loud. What they were saying when they woke up at the 3 a.m. in the morning, was expressing their grievances and also expressing their hope that finally someone they believe in has got finally they had an opportunity to vote for somebody they believe in. So there was there was no way they were going to miss that opportunity. They are jobless, they finish college, they can't work, they can't go into a business because the economy has collapsed. And the majority of our population as you know they are they are young people. They are all over in the streets. They have nothing to do. All right. For them, this is the only thing they could do. Just vote for the right person who has inspired them. Hmm. Now, given the, given the many challenges the country is, 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 is facing uh, economically and otherwise, um, what kind, of a, what kind of, a, of a task do you think you're going to, to meet uh, as you form government? And how do you hope to deal with the many challenges that, you know, the country is grappling with right now? I think you are right. That the, the challenges are huge because of the, the level that we have reached in terms of the, uh, how the economic has collapsed. But when you have a committed person or a government that's led by a committed person, he is bound to choose a team that's also as committed as he is because he wants to succeed. He has a vision. That's the beginning. You must have a vision of what you want to do for your country. Mm. So I have no doubt that he will start on the right note because of his commitment, because of the, the manifesto that uh, he has embraced and which the party has embraced, which actually is the seventh um, manifesto where he has dedicated himself and his, uh, his team to work as the servants of the people, not as the masters of the people. Mm. Because it's a mindset that mind that uh, it's a mindset that's very important when you go into leadership. What are you going to do? Are you going to be a servant or a master, or are you going there to fill up your pocket? This is a man who has said, "I am going to serve the people. I'm going to be your servant, and I'm going to work for you." And he is a man who embraces values of hard work. He is a very hard working man. 
very committed, very honest, and you cannot doubt him because he has shown that he's alive. He's very exemplary in his private life. He's a good husband, a good father. He's a Christian, of course, we all know that because of the, the style of life that he leads. He's a successful businessman, so he's going to bring that experience to this nation. There's no doubt about that. Mm. And you have seen his style of politics. It's not the type of politics where he stands on a mountain and shouts people, no. It's the type of politics where he articulates issues. He articulates how he is going to turn around the economy. How he's going to work with the international community, with our own people here in Zambia, various stakeholders, to bring around this economy. And I know he's going to do it. No, right. And there's a lot of hope, I'm sure, out there. The, the investor confidence, I wouldn't doubt that it's going to be there now. That is, is, in, is in the driving seat. Because they know he's a man they can deal with. He's a man they can do business with. He's a man who understands how the economy works. So we have no doubt, I have no doubt, I cannot even speak for myself because I speak for the Zambian people because I interact with the young people, I interact with all ages of people, and I know that we all have confidence in this man, in turning around this man, uh, the, the economy of this country. All right. What lesson have you picked from the, you know, outgoing, you know, party? The lessons learned are plenty for the outgoing party. When you are in leadership, you are not there for yourself. When you are in leadership, you are there for the people of Zambia, the people that you are going to serve. You are not there for a job to make money and fill up your pocket from corruption. You are not there to hurt people because when you, 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 you bring down the economy of the country, the social lives of people, you're actually bringing pain in their lives. You are there to try hard and, to, uh, and make their lives better, their social lives better, their economic, uh, economic life better. So there are lessons learned from that government that never, never get into government for yourself and your family, but for the people that you are going to serve. All right. And that's leadership. Uh, and, and, and one of the things that, uh, you know, um, made up, uh, you know, uh, the conversation uh, for those who were critics of the outgoing government is the fact that cadres had grown, um, had grown wings. That they were too big for some institutions. As, as, as you formed government, and, and, and your president was, was, was hard on this. He, he criticized uh, the PF, you know, government uh, when he was in the opposition. Um, how, do you, how do you hope to change this, uh, this narrative? And, 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 and for once, bring sanity uh, in, in, in institutions that many thought, you know, cadres had a huge hand um, and influence in their operations. Like I mentioned uh, before, it's all about the kind of values that you express. This is a man with a discipline in his life, private life, business life. The CV is, for, is there. His CV is there for everyone to see. And he has said it now and again that he's not going to tolerate in this place. And the kind of reason, like it is, it has been in PF, that's in this place. And he didn't take us anywhere. So he's a man who can take his word for it because he has lived that kind of life, the life that uh, doesn't tolerate in this place, the life that doesn't tolerate corruption, the life that doesn't uh, tolerate uh, lawlessness, breakdown in the, the rule of law, the life that doesn't tolerate human rights abuses. So he has lived that kind of life. He has shown it in his uh, past life. So we have no doubt that this is one, going to be one of his start, uh, starting points to do away with that kind of cadarism as they existed in PF. As we wind up, as we wind up this interaction, um, uh, Madam Sakala, what is your word to Zambians, a uh, word of appreciation to Zambians right now who have given you this job um, to preside over the resources of this uh, you know, great, great uh, you know, country? My word to Zambians is just to congratulate them because they have made the right choice. And I'm so happy to be a Zambian, to be one of them, because uh, you know you can never take uh, Zambians for granted. It's a very good example of how Zambians make decisions. 
It's like they are just they were just waiting for 2021 to come. And they decided, they made a decision. It was a very wise decision. And Zambians, this is a turning point. This is really a turning point. Historic, like I said, the, the, it's a momentous occasion. And Zambians will remember this day. They will remember that they made the right decision because this country is going to begin to turn around. All right. You obviously have, as a party, and of course led by your pres the president of Zambia right now, um, um, you are occupying for yourselves um, a, a fresh page um, in Zambia's, uh, you know, um, Zambia's uh, um, history. All right. I would like to find out from you now, uh, given an opportunity to, to title that, that chapter that you're going to occupy in the annals of Zambia's uh, political history, what, what, what would be the title? Can you come again? I, I'm saying now that you know uh, your party has formed government, of course, um, and your president, uh, the president of, of of the party, is now the president of Zambia. Um, going forward, um, if you were to give an account of uh, of the chapter that you're going to occupy when it comes to the annals of history, what 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 title would you pick? The title would be the um, Uh, the, 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 I, I would say the title would be like um, the time when uh, Zambia's democratic credentials turned around for the better. All right. When Zambia's institutions of governance started being respected from the weak institutions which they had been for 10 years to strengthening to institutions that will work, where no individual will no longer be the law unto themselves and they'll be doing what they want to do because there's lawlessness. So basically, that's what I would say. All right. Historically, uh, we should be remembered for the UPND that the president is going to be remembered for. All right. Going for the celebration? Where where, where are you headed uh, to for the celebrations? I can imagine you've got some celebrations as a party. I have no idea. I can't say it. If I'm, I'm going to speak for myself and what I've met with my friends, I think we're just going to be all over, mingle and speak with the Zambians, the people who voted for him in Mandevo constituency, in Matero, in Kanyama, in Chawama. Out there, our members are all over this country. They are going to go into the heavily populated areas where the vote came from. It's just beautiful just to mix and mingle with the people that we are going to work for. Because these are our masters and we are servants. Rose Sakala, Chairperson, International Relations uh, for the UPND. Thank you very much for coming through. And uh, once again, congratulations. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. And congratulations to you too. Let's go on a break.
Zambia has decided it's, uh, you know, uh, President-elect Hakainde Ichilema, who is uh, Zambia's seventh Republican president. Now, let's uh, pick the um, mind of Esther Katongo, uh, Zambia police spokesperson, because, of course, um, we need to talk about the issue of uh, safety there, obviously, understandably so, wild celebrations out there. Uh, great to have you on the program. I mean, you've been very um, available, so to speak, uh, throughout this uh, electoral uh, you know, uh, process, and we are very um, highly indebted to you for, uh, for, for your time. Thank you very much, uh, Brian. We are in uh, public institutions, and uh, once we are given a mandate by members of the public, we have to do the work. All right. Let's talk about the issue of, of uh, you know, security now. I mean, um, ce celebrations are punctuating uh, this this good morning, obviously. Um, what is uh, What are you doing as, as the police to ensure that even as people go out there to celebrate, they are safe? Yes, so um, during our planning, we did consider the this period yeah. where um, after um, the declaration of um, the winner, we expected that there would be celebrations. And um, we also looked at um, properties of people in our communities and also in business centers. So when deploying, we considered deploying in areas, um, uh, in business centers such as uh, malls, town center, and also we looked at um, other private properties, which are busy or sensitive uh, uh, premises. So all those areas we have deployed. And then um, also we did our sensitization to members of the public so that um, they take good care of themselves. So at the moment we are on the ground and uh, we hope that people will celebrate uh, responsibly so that we don't have um, any injuries or any death recorded. Because I was just monitoring our radio. Um, there are reports which are coming to say already one has been bashed. So those are unconfirmed reports. We are yet to give um, a correct position. I just received, we just received uh, a report from the ground. So what we want is everyone to celebrate responsibly. You know, when you celebrate responsibly, then it means that uh, you, 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 you live tomorrow to see the benefits of your celebration. So for us, we also realize to say that during the times of uh, celebrations, there are other people who are criminals mm -hmm. who would want to take advantage of yeah. the situation. Others would want, when they see a lot of crowds, then they go to shops probably, or homes, because some people have left homes maybe even un unattended to, so that they take advantage and uh, steal from uh, these people. So all that was taken, was put into consideration right. when we were uh, planning. I, I was about to ask you, um, uh, uh, you know, on what security, you know, um, issues uh, come with mm -hmm. such kind of, you know, celebrations, especially at, at household level, because criminals take advantage of such moments to uh, advance their interests? Yes, usually in communities you'd find that uh, those who are criminal-minded, they'll just be waiting for, for uh, uh, owners of the household. Mm. And at times you may, they may even be known to the owners of uh, those households. They may be members of that same community. As you are planning during the day, even them, they'll be there and they'll know what your plan will be. So they'll even plan also. When you go out, then they will remain and you, you break your, into your house or maybe get something from your motor vehicle. So all those um, issues which we already sensitize members of the public to say that even as they will be going to celebrate, they need to leave some people behind to take care of their, of their property. All right. Yeah. I want to thank you very much uh, f for coming through. Um, uh, but going forward, um, you know, what what... what what is your word to, to Zambians out there as they go out to celebrate? Um, again, just in case somebody's just walking into the living room right now or wherever there's a TV set and they're watching this program, what is the takeaway point, so to speak, from this particular interaction? 
Yes, um, for parents, let them uh, check even their children because you would find that they think that their children are in the home when they've gone to celebrate. And they wouldn't know what may happen to the children. The celebrations will continue, I know, even tomorrow. So people should ensure that um, they keep safe. They should even advise their children on how far they can go when it comes to celebrations. Motorists also, we, we usually experience situations where they become overexcited. They would, uh, would be moving anyhow on the road and thereby endangering the, the lives of, um, of other road users. So everyone has to be um, uh, security conscious and ensure that their conduct does not put the lives of um, others at risk. All right. Once again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Esther Katongo, uh, Zambia Police uh, spokesperson, talking to us about security, uh, you know, uh, concerns um, as, uh, you know, um, people out there go celebrating following the uh, declaration by the uh, ECZ uh, that, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Haka Ndishlema is Zambia's, uh, you know, uh, president-elect after, you know, um, the elections that took place on the 12th of August 2021. Now, tell you what, there'll be lots of uh, um, celebrations out there. As a matter of fact, they're taking place right now. Almost uh, the entire country uh, is, is, is witnessing uh, celebrations, um, and, and, and there's so many of them that are coming through. And tell you what, Livingstone is part of the celebrations. <laughs>
World celebrations uh, there in Livingston, as um, you know, uh, the uh, country's uh, election body has uh, declared, you know, uh, Mr. Hagaende Shlema as president-elect of Zambia. So we wait to see what's going to happen in that in that regard. But we have to uh, to go. Uh, it's been a very very busy. It's been a, a period, a long uh, period, and ZNBC has been dedicated to bring you every detail uh, that matters to you when it comes to uh, the electoral process from the eve of uh, the, the, the election day. Um, our cameras went on and our reporters and members of, 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 of staff here were members of, 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 um, of, um, of, of, um, of, of our crew here were extremely busy to ensure that we bring to you every detail uh, building up to the election day itself and then there was the election day we did uh, spread our wings across the country to bring to you um, you know coverage on what exactly is happening hey franklin has just walked in um please find yourself a microphone franklin and uh, make 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 your way uh, to this particular place but unfortunately franklin um you you really have to to make your way here uh, you know franklin all right he's, he's coming here oh goodness your your, your ears look uh, eyes bigger pardon Feel free. Um, I know. I know that you 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 you're looking for makeup. You're, you're looking for makeup, Franklin. This is how Franklin looks in the morning, guys. <laughs> but it's been a very busy period, and uh, the entire crew um, here uh, at ZNBC was very very busy. A lot, uh, you know, has been going on in terms of uh, content, uh, you know, uh, gathering and uh, ensuring that uh, we uh, remain relevant to you. Uh, what? What a, what a moment. Um, you, you were at, at Mulungushi, and, and, and I spoke to you earlier on. What, what, what do you bring from Mulungushi in terms of the, the ambience and everything that transpired there? I think it's what makes us Zambian. All right. The fact that we've embraced the, uh, uh, the democratic system of governance um, makes the uh, whole aspect of what... Uh, uh, people do to choose leaders yeah. become something that every African country uh, must embrace, and of course, maybe every, everywhere, everywhere in the world, the demonstration of uh, the will of the people, I think, is what was at play here. Uh, uh, President uh, elect Hakainde Hichilema getting what close to 61 percent of. The vote now. You know, to be president, mm -hmm. you have to uh, beat the threshold of fifty plus one. Um, this is what they call a convincing victory. Absolutely. This is what it was uh, all about, mm -hmm. and um, it eliminated the uh, prospect of uh, a second round had both uh, candidates failed to uh, beat that uh, particular threshold. Mm -hmm. What was also very interesting about this election, being at the Mulungushi International Conference Center. Um, was uh, the the attention that was paid to this particular election mm. by both local and international observers? Look, the hours were long of uh, of, of of waiting. Yeah. Something which is a bit of a of an issue going forward. Can there be a way of churning out results in a faster way? Mm. Uh, but people were willing to wait, almost as um, as patient as it was when the electorate of voters were going out to vote. Look at. You recall the long queues, um, and, and and people were patient yeah. and, uh, and until they went into the vote. Looks like that also uh, ended up being at the Mulungushi International Conference Center for journalists, for observers, uh, for representatives, as uh, the ECZ took every step as meticulously as they possibly could. Yeah. Obviously, there were certain issues that were raised in the co in the course leading to the declaration mm -hmm. of uh, uh, Zambia's seventh uh, president. In the fact that there were certain things that um, uh, points of order 
if you mm. like that 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 came up from from time to time and the uh, the commission has done its best and this is perhaps why it's ranked one of the best in Africa in fact mm. the fourth best uh, in Africa mm. that tells you just how um, much of a reputation it's had to protect yeah. uh, because tainting its name uh, would eventually uh, have a, a telling effect on, on the reputation. Mm. Perception is everything. And I'm pretty sure that observers who have been here have something to say positive about Zambia. But let's not forget mm. that they've been, uh, this battle was with uh, uh, 15 other uh, contestants. All right. Are they all going to say this was uh, as good as it was? We'll wait for the reactions. But for now, mm. it is the United Party of Financial Development that takes the day. I know what you're, what you're trying to do, Franklin. You're trying to deny me access to, what, to witnessing what's happening outside. And I will not allow that to go <laughs> on. Thank you very much for coming through. Uh, and folks, don't forget that we've got a program tomorrow at uh, 8 o'clock, isn't it? To oh, goodness. It's today, actually. Yeah. This, mo <laughs> this morning at 8 o'clock, we have a program for you. Uh, so you do all to make a date with Franklin Temple Jr. is going to be on your screens just to interest you to uh, a lot of uh, uh, issues around the narrative that has you know, uh, been witnessed after Zambians went to the polls on the 12th of August. My name is Brian Mulamba. Thank you very much to the entire crew and thanks to you for watching your national broadcaster. Bye-bye. walk to victory that has taken him 15 years. For the last two elections held in 2015 and 2016, he has emerged second. But this time around, Hakai Nechlema was to make a strong push to the finishing line, putting up a strong fight with a determined spirit that has convinced people that he's the right person for the top job. Who is Hakai Nechlema and what has inspired him on his journey to State House? Hakai Nechlema was born on June 4, 1962 in Monze, in the southern province in Chief Ham Sondes area. But despite the rural background, 
Hakainde proved to be a bright child, attending primary school in his village and later secondary school in Kalomo, and eventually attending the mandatory national service stint. He was later admitted to the University of Zambia, where he studied economics and business studies. Hakainde later obtained an MBA in finance and business strategy from the University of Birmingham, United Kingdom. It all started with getting, in my view, free education, being educated by the taxpayers through a government bursary uh, at the University of Zambia. And then I started out on my own in business at the age of 26. So I think the rest is history. Uh, we've been fortunate, we've been blessed by, by God, and that's why we want to support other citizens uh, by taking public office so that we can give them the opportunity to do even much better than what we've done. What is important is the opportunity. That opportunity will come only through good leadership. And this country is short of good leadership as we sit here today. You can see the state of our economy. Popularly known as HH in political circles, Hakainde served as chief executive officer of Coopers and Librand and later as CEO for Coopers successor, Grant Thornton. He has massive experience in business with wide experience in Zambia, Southern Africa and the UK at operational and management levels. He has chaired numerous boards of management, both abroad and in Zambia. His entrepreneurial skills are renowned. He stands out as the richest president Zambia has ever had. His investments range from farming, ranching and real estates, with his first plot bought in Kalingalinga in Lusaka from his second salary from his first job at Coopers and Librand. Since then, he has not looked back when it comes to investment in estates. While his business acumen is well documented, it was his political career that he had to build over the years to eventually become the strongest and leading opposition leader in the country and eventually president of the Republic of Zambia. His public political career was launched in 2006 when he took over the leadership of the Opposition United Party for National Development, UPND, following the death of Anderson Mazoka. But with only a few months before the general elections, the UPND had a huge task to find a successor to their leader, late Anderson Kambela Mazoka. Hakainde Ichilema, a corporate executive and businessman, was headhunted and proposed to take over the party. His resistance could not hold and eventually agreed to take up the presidency. By then, little was known about the man who had quietly carved out a strong persona as a businessman and commercial farmer. After a heated campaign within the UPND, Hakainde Ichilema was preferred among other candidates who included renowned lawyer and party vice president then, Sakwiba Skota. With the party politics settled, he was thrust into a national election within a period of 45 days. This time, he was a candidate for an alliance called the United Democratic Alliance, UDA, that included the Opposition Forum for Democracy and Development, FDD, and UNIP. At the age of 42, Hakainde was picked to contest the general elections set for September 2006 as the alliance candidate. Thrown into the deep end, he still had to do the best that he could. See resilience in the eyes of the Zambian people. But the people of Zambia need to be liberated from economic uh, enslavement. 